Okay, um, I'm going to show you how to install the uh, Web 2 Pi uh, web development framework on a Raspberry Pi. Um, this seems to me to be the easiest way to create a uh, web server and associated web framework um, on a Raspberry Pi and it seems to work just fine. It's as slow as the Raspberry Pi will allow it to be but it seems the easiest way to get started in terms of building a website that's operational. So let me start with uh, getting the code for Web2Pi. So if I go to the... Uh, if I just do a search... Oops, Web2Pi. Uh, there's the website, of course. OK, and you can download all the software from there. However, the easiest way, in my experience, is to look at uh, the book. The, uh, there's a documentation which you can get in a hard copy, but there's also a, an online version of the same material. And this is uh, the actual book itself. These are all the chapters and so on. So in the deployment recipes, which is what we really want to look at, uh, chapter 13, you can see Linux and Unix as a heading here and there's this one-step production and deployment um, uh, examples which I'm just going to use directly so given that Ubuntu is a Debian um, distribution I can take the code from here and just copy it and I'm going to go to my command window and just to show you I'm not cheating I've got a, a Raspberry Pi on my network uh, called RPI-2B and I'm just going to SSH to it. So obviously you need to have a secure shell set up for your Pi. Uh, so the connection command is basically SSH RPI-2B which is the name of the Pi dash L says you log in using uh, this username PI is the username unchanged from the default. Okay, it asks me the usual questions. Do I want to carry on? Yes, and um, that's P B E R Y. Usual password unchanged. So now I'm in um, the uh, Raspberry Pi itself. You can see from the prompt, and all I'm going to do is paste the text from that I copied here into the shell. And to do that, I use Control Shift V, and that will paste into the command line. So it's actually run the first command which actually gets a script. The second command um, changes the uh, privileges on the on the file to make it executable. And the third one, sudo dot slash setup web to pi ubuntu dot sh I'm just going to hit return and run it now. So it prompts me to say, do I want to confirm? The things it's going to do is it's going to install uh, everything required to run Python and Web2Pi. It will then install Web2Pi in uh, home slash www dash data, which is ultimately the directory tree where the web server will be set up. Uh, it creates a certificate because I want to use um, HTTPS. It won't. It'll be a self-signed one, so it won't be as secure as uh, as uh, commercial ones. But for our purposes, it's perfectly adequate. Uh, it then connects Web2Pi with Apache, so it creates an Apache uh, web server and uh, implements the mod WSGI or WSGI module, which allows uh, Python to run. Uh, it overwrites the setup for the default web server and then restarts Apache and that's about it really. Uh, it does actually behind the scenes create a mail server as well to allow web to pi to send emails and probably a few other uh, facilities as well but I'm really not going to worry about that except to say if you want to look at the code you t that, 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 that does this you can do so. I'm just going to run it and um, walk you through how uh, the, the installation process works. It's pretty straightforward. So it's downloading stuff and as you can see Okay, the installation process has come back to me now. Um, it's installing the Postfix web server, uh, mail server I should say. 
and if you look at what the options are uh, the one to choose is the internet site which is as it's already defaulted to so I'll just tab to OK and hit return um, I'll use the name of the uh, Raspberry Pi as the uh, system mail name and just hit return it's restarting Apache okay and now it's uh, creating a uh, self-signed certificate which is required because uh, it's used by Apache to provide a, a secure HTTPS uh, web service and that's required because the Web2Pi administrative pages require uh, HTTPS to be in place uh, for it to operate. Uh, you can actually change that but uh, why bother? Um, so this is just a uh, a self-signed certificate so it's just for testing you wouldn't use this in production usually um, so I'm not going to worry too much about the content of the uh, entries to create the certificate so let me carry on and do that so country GB uh, I live in Berkshire uh, Maidenhead Job Consulting don't care about that. Uh, my name's Paul Gerard. Email address Paul at Gerard. Okay, and that's it. So it's created the uh, certificate, it's loaded it into Apache and then restarted Apache. Now, uh, on running Web2Pi for the first time, what it's done is it's invited me to create a. So the installation is done now, uh, and just to show you that Apache is running, uh, let me show you that now. Um, and there it is. Okay, so I can start and stop Apache in the normal way. Uh, let's go to the browser and then see if the website is available. So the name of my uh, Raspberry Pi is RPI-2B, it's Raspberry Pi 2. I get the prompt because it's defaulted to a secure HTTPS connection. So I'll dismiss the warnings of uh, doom and gloom. And the website comes up. This is the uh, default template that comes up on every installation of Web2Pi. And you can basically use this as a template and edit out all the stuff you don't want and create uh, what you do need. Um, if, <coughs> if I go to the uh, web server again, uh, I can show where the files are. Web2Pi. slash applications welcome these are the standard files and you can see that um, the home page of the website for the welcome application is at default slash index and you can see in the views in the directory structure oops sorry I need to CD there first. In views, type out. You can see there's a default directory, and in default, there's an index.html. That's the view that is used to render this page. Now you'll notice on the on the home page that there's a couple of links in here, and it points to the view here. So uh, let me use that. What that actually does is open up the um, administrative interface and here's the view and the code but I can edit that and I can change that view so in here it says welcome to your new Web2Pi installation it'll be different perhaps because I've edited this in the past but let me um, go to the Hello to the Raspberry Pi. I can save that. So now that view is is saved. When I go back to the web page, and I'll just do that by getting rid of that. 
hello to Raspberry Pi, that text has changed. So I can edit the application through the admin interface. So it's a completely self-contained development framework and you can develop and test in a very kind of uh, uh, stress-free way. You can also use the uh, command line to access the files more directly in that respect. But uh, it's probably easier overall to use the um, administrative inf interface, you know, the, the programmer's interface, and work that way. Okay, so that's uh, Ras Raspberry Pi running uh, Web2Pi, Apache, mail servers, everything. Um, I hope that helps.